Um, so tell us what you've been up to today. Oh, what I've been up to today. Oh, geez, is it a short day? I had a meeting with an entertainment attorney this morning, and that was followed by the incredible and flattering and humbling and empowering uh, lunch, uh, filmmaker lunch at the Sundance Institute, uh, which is really, I mean, most people say it's one of the highlights of the festival, and it really is. Why is it a, why is it a highlight? Well, I mean, it, it's there's no pressure. It's your peers. Uh, you get to meet filmmakers of every ilk, size, shape, color. And today, I got to tell Robert Redford that the first film set I was ever on or participated in was uh, 34 years ago in New York City on the Upper East Side. And I was watching and filming a movie where Robert Redford was riding a bicycle down a street. And it happened to be the uh, one of the opening scenes of Three Days of the Condor. And now, 34 years later, I'm a guest at his festival. It's an amazing full circle thing. That is. That is to, uh, what is what is the best thing about coming to Sundance? Well, the best thing is, uh, you know, it's the validation of something you worked on for a year and then you, you get to see it the way you intended it and you get a couple of thousand people in one week. You get to ch sometimes you get to change somebody's life, a complete stranger's life here in the middle of Park City, Utah. Not many people get that opportunity. How do you change a complete stranger's life? Well, somebody, I mean, if you're, if you're a filmmaker that, you know, makes honest and, and probing movies, uh, uh, that explore the human condition, I think it's kind of easy to change somebody's life, or at least alter it, or at least uh, kind of veer it into a new direction, or something that may not they might not have thought of. How is the worst thing about coming to Sundance? The worst thing about coming to, is there a worst thing about coming to Sundance? The worst thing about coming to Sundance is not flying direct and having to stop in Minneapolis. Oh, no. <laughs> from, from where? New York. From New York? Wow. How long does that take? Oh, it's a, you know, when your plane is late because of de-icing from New York, the layover is very brief in Minneapolis. <laughs> um, who uh, at this festival this year would you most like to meet? Dr. This year? Who do I most want to meet this year? Oh, jeez. Um, well, I'll tell you who I most want to reunite with. Uh, it just so happens that my last time here as a filmmaker was three years ago, and my film Flannel Pajamas was in dramatic competition. And 11 people who were involved in the production of that movie, including my two incredible stars, Justin Kirk and Julianne Nicholson, we all have new films at Sundance this year. So I really want to, you know, kind of have an ad hoc reunion, and it's, it's kind of poetic. So if you now, if you had to sacrifice one body part uh, to frostbite for Sundance, which one would it be? It would be the, t the the pinky on my right hand, which became infected for no apparent reason two nights ago. So if I give it up, it means the pain goes away. <laughs> that's a that's a win-win. Um, would you rather be photographed uh, taking um, taking uh, walking out of a swag suite with a hundred thousand dollars worth of swag under your arms, or have your movie bomb at Sundance? Would I rather what? <laughs> be photographed uh, walking out with a hundred thousand dollars worth of swag, or have your movie bomb? I'd rather be photographed robbing a bank than having my movie bomb. <laughs> Excellent. Good question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.